Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlashUp.com and Posted Outdoors. Uh, the nymph I'm about to teach you today is Case Caddis Nymph. It's a very simple nymph to tie, simple on materials. Uh, most of you probably already have in your fly box. It really, really works good on uh, streams. We have limestone streams around our place and pick up stick out of the out of the creek and you're probably going to find these case caddises on them. They're really, really simple fly to tie. I think you're going to enjoy learning from it. Remember, if you need anything, we're always here for you at wholesingersflyshop.com. Don't forget to check us out. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be constantly updated with our new videos. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is a case caddis. I'm going to start out tying this with um, lead wire, 010 lead wire. This is a size 14, uh, 1560 wet nymph hook from Daiichi. And I'm going to start back at the back near the bend of the hook here. And I'm going to wrap this up not the whole way like say on a waltz worm, but about mm, three quarters of the way probably. Pinch them together, make them tight there. So your string don't fall down through it. Your fibers here, your hackle fibers here in a minute. Or tail fibers, I should say. Okay, you see how I went about three quarters of the way there. Okay, then I'm going to take and uh, trim my back end off here. Oops, here we go. Lost my scissors. I'm just going to pop that off. You notice I didn't cut that. I just took the blade and just kind of pushed on it to, to tear it off. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is um, dark brown thread on this. Um, I'm going to use dark brown for the reason that this is going to make the head of this when I'm done. Okay, I'm just going to wrap down my lead wire. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm kind of wrapping loosely over top of the wire to start with. So I can get in front and behind it to make this wire tight and hold it into place with my wraps. And then I'm going to get back over it and cover it and try to get a, a good layer over top of it so the pheasant tail fibers here that I'm about to tie on so that they don't fall down through it. Okay, once I got that covered I'm going to go back to the bend of the hook again and I'm going to take a piece of pheasant tail just a standard ring neck pheasant and I'm going to cut off oh, about six or six or eight pheasant tail fibers and I'm going to, as you see here, I'm going to separate about six or eight of them and then I'm going to cut it off clear down at the the shaft of the feather there if you cut it off down there they all come off even and your tips will all line up Okay, then I'm going to take the tips, okay, and I'm going to tie it in with the tips pointing towards the eye. I want to tie the tips down, okay, there's no tail on this. So I'm going to tie the tips, what I would usually use for the tail. That's going to be my tie-in point here. Hold these on top here. Tie them down. A couple stragglers here, take them out. Okay, now they have them tied in. I'm going to wrap this back up to the end up here, to the end of the lead. And I'm going to wrap my hackle, my tail fibers towards the front. This is going to create the look of the, the casing of a caddis. Um, anytime I take somebody fishing for the first time, take them fly fishing, always reach down in the water and pick up a rock try to show people what we're imitating why we're fly fishing what the purpose of using the fly is if you pick up a dead tree that's been laying in a creek for a while in a good healthy creek it's a good chance you're gonna see these curved cat these cased caddises on it okay once I have that the whole way up there I'm gonna wrap it down let me get this wrapped down here pretty good Okay, like I said, if you find one of these trees, you're going to find this insect that has uh, trapped a fiber there. 
you're going to find one of these insects that hang, it attaches itself to the tree or whatever. And this casing part is going to be really hard. Inside it, there's going to be a little green insect in it. Uh, in our area, most of them are green, at least. Uh, some might be white or whatever. But now I'm going to take a piece of, of green yarn. If you get a yarn at, at the craft store or whatever, it comes in four strands. I'll show you here. Comes in a piece, piece of yarn with four strands, and I take and I, I pull the strands apart, okay? And I get this down to one strand out of the four, okay? I get down to one strand, that's all I use here, and I'm going to tie that in right in front of those pheasant tails. Okay, and I'm going to tie it right back to the pheasant tail so it looks like it's coming out of the pheasant tail. Hence the cased caddis, it lives inside the case. Okay, then I'm going to go back to the front. Now when you do this, you have to be careful because this is weak. You're down to one strand of yarn now. So you, you weakened your yarn pretty good. So don't pull too tight when you're wrapping this. But you just want to wrap this forward up here to the head. Don't crowd your eye too much. And then you're going to tie this off. Okay, we're using brown th thread so we can make a head on this caddis pupa that's popping out the end of the case here. Okay, so we just want to get back over here, finish this up, wrap all that down there, make a nice brown head sticking out the end there. And then we're going to whip finish it off. Finish that off, hit it with a touch of head cement, and that fly is done. That is one of the simplest flies you can tie for nymph fishing here. Uh, fiber hanging down there I don't like. And uh, that's how simple that fly is to tie. I hope you enjoyed tying this. Um, tie a bunch of them. Like I said, we fish limestone around our area. There's a bunch of them in there.